So the uh, wife seen a couple of my videos on YouTube and said, you know what? You should make videos of more of your stuff that you made. I went, I oh, agree. So anyway, this is a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a middle buster plow, or I call it a tater plow. But anyway, I made everything except for the, uh, I think it's a 16 inch furrow. It just, you know, now I can move that down farther. There's three holes in there and I got it in the upper two. I made three holes because I also made this. I ain't got my holes drilled in here yet, but I got it shaped. And what this will do is this will sit down here. Well, once you take the uh, plow off, put this one on, and it'll become a. Uh, I gotta do some more work on this. Just never got around to it. It'll become like a ripper or a subsoil or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I went at a 45 degree angle on this. Uh, found a piece of old metal cutting edge. It was fairly heavy. That's what's welded in the center with some of my 3 16 inch plate on the outside. And then some huge angle iron that I got real cheap. Then up at the top, this is what the plate actually looks like. It came in, I think it was like 6 inch wide. Now I got two holes here so I can set my top link up. Uh, if I want to till it forward more, where I can just adjust the top link. But anyway, basically, uh, it's just a heavy. I mean, it goes down in there pretty good. I've only used it once. <laughs> I got it out for the, uh, I don't know, the, the every three year uh, touch up the paint type deal. Said, it's just, I got a welder and started making stuff for the tractor. Now I need a farm. But anyway. <laughs> That's the plow. I'll show you the other thing here in another video.